come with us now, if you dare, down a rickety staircase into a dank, dark basement. What awaits the Saturday Night Freak Show? <laughs> hey, thanks for listening to the Saturday Night Freak Show podcast, the movie review and talk show podcast that comes your way every Saturday, whether you're ready for it or not, in our quest to explore every cinematic avenue. Everyone. I thought you were going to say explode genre. every cinematic avenue. <laughs> yeah, and explode them. We're going down all those dark alleyways of cinema. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, light, throw a grenade yeah. in there. Sometimes we're in the dumpster in those dark alleyways. Sometimes. Was we're it protected tonight? from the grenade. <laughs> I don't know. We're going to find out. These are the internet radio superstars. Michaela. Sean. Holly. And I'm Colin. And tonight we watched a movie movie that was chosen by Holly. Me. Why? Yeah. <laughs> why <Sure>. now? <laughs> why, why now and what now? Why now? Um couple reasons why. Why now? What is the um, movie? Well, what did we watch? Yeah. Okay, yeah. Well, we watched a movie called Strike Commando. Mm, sounds promising. Yeah, it's you may also know it as Cobra Force. <laughs> oh, <laughs> they did have patches well, I mean, that said a Cobra. Cobra in it for a second. It yeah, Cobra, Cobra didn't do anything, yeah, they, but it was on their arm that said they were yeah. the Cobra Force. Yeah, um, and I don't know which one is more this movie, Strike Commando, Cobra Force. I feel like they're equal. Mm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. yeah, generic '80s mm-hmm. action titles yeah. that yep. you can find in the canon pictures garbage. I prefer, yes. I prefer we go with Strike Commando just so we don't sully the name of Cobra. I know that's what I thought that's they fair. were doing because you know? some of the enemy soldiers have Cobra patches. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I was like, are no, the good guys? The no, good guys. The, good sorry, guys, the, the Strike yeah. Commandos have. Yeah, yeah, they're Cobra. So you're fine with Commando being sullied. Yeah, that's fine. I'll give okay. a shit about yeah. that. Yeah. Just don't sell the good name of, <laughs> yeah, of, of, of Marion Cabretti. Yes. Let's keep his name out their mouths. You do for a rewatch of Cobra, I think. That's that's where I'm at. What about Commando? Yeah. I yeah. don't know if I've seen Commando. You know what? That's been on my list for a while. Is yeah. Alyssa Milano uh, in yes, Commando? She is. Okay. Yes, she is. That's the one where I've we first movie. see Arnold Schwarzenegger and he's carrying a tree. Yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> Having just I, cut it down himself, he's carrying it. When a I was going I over my it. list of like what to pick for this episode, I stopped on Commando and I was like, what? Is yeah. it time? And then I saw Strike Commando and I'm like, that seems more on brand. Uh, yeah. There you go. What but year? I think Commando will come eventually. What year was Strike Commando manufactured? 1987. The year after. Wait, when was Commando? Was that 85, 86? I think it was 85. Okay. Maybe. And 85. who yeah. is the director of Strike Commando? Um, if you look at the credits, it's Vincent Dawn. <laughs> okay, sounds like a fake name. <laughs> it is a okay. fake name. Yep. Get Vinny out. Dawn? No. For Bruno Mattei. Bruno Mattei. The Again. bad Italian genius behind Cool Jaws. <laughs> <laughs> and Shocking Dark. And oh, shocking man. dark. The movie that will always haunt us. <laughs> and the other one. We're gonna watch we it one day in crisp high definition. I'm never. And I promise it. you, you'll never, enjoy it. I'm never. I think it would again. go for better now. <laughs> you, you've been saying that since we watched it. I feel I like. I think it would go well if we could actually see the movie. I think it would go over. Better. I will never watch it again. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm, getting, will, I'm If you ever end up in a coma where you can still use your eyes, but nothing else, I shocking make dark. You watch shocking. Dark. I feel like if I was in a coma. I would still Maybe, be on the freak show. Well, okay. Like, you'd still have me here. Yeah. I would just be like, well, yeah, yeah, the microphone. We are in. And, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you just hear the heart monitor <laughs> beeping. <laughs> 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 so Where's Holly? <laughs> Holly, what'd you think? Beep. <laughs> beep. I so, thought so. Well, somehow. <laughs> Two beeps means recommend. One beep means no. <laughs> somehow without. Holly, what'd you think? <laughs> beep. Oh, oh that's, a, that's, a, that's a pass. That's a pass. <laughs> that's a hard one. pass. Hard, hard pass. pass. <laughs> well, without me picking it, we have somehow ended up with another Italian movie. We have. Yeah. We always yeah. end up Who there. Knew? Yeah. I know. They're yeah. all over the place. That's what I'm telling you. Like, this they're is a, a subgenre that you can't escape from. Mm-hmm. Bruno Mattei, then, is like... A madman. Because... He wants to rip off everything. Okay, there it is. Okay. Mm-hmm. So everything. every single movie that we've seen with the name Bruno Mattei on it has a been a, like... Oh, a blatant ripoff. Yeah. Blatant ripoff. Of multiple movies. Like, yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Yeah. Um, it's like Terminator. I'll do it. It's Alien. Like you, I'll do it. It's like when yeah. you make movies in your backyard with your friends, and you yeah. just like we just copy the scenes you've seen in movies you it's like. It's literally it, Dawson. Yeah, it's Dawson. <laughs> from Dawson. This is Dawson's <laughs> Creek. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, this one is uh, most influenced by. Rambo. First Blood Part yeah. 2. I know that's a shock to all of yeah. you. 
<laughs> many scenes you will recognize uh, between the two movies. Mm-hmm. Uh, okay, but the, yeah. but the the Amazon Prime description of this movie introduced a term I was not familiar with: nomsploitation. Nomsploitation, <laughs> very very much. Uh, so. It seems yeah. as if Vietnam like maybe we shouldn't enough. have a subject. I was, I was like, right? if you, <laughs> yeah, no, Sean, I agree with you. Vietnam was exploited enough. Yeah, can can we not? Yeah, can we not? Let's, yeah. let's, can we not? Oh, let's, yeah. well, everything turns into entertainment at some point. I yeah, remember yeah, when I was a kid, there were like. Is there 9 like, exploitation? N- no, no. They're not, expo- not yet. Yeah. We're still, if you make a movie about it, that's exploiting there will be. it. But the tone of those is so self-serious compared to mm-hmm. these types of movies. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Um, um, what's the... Robert Pattinson movie where he ends up that feels exploitive. Well, they, oh, can remember, they, me? Yeah. remember me? Yeah, okay. remember me? Yes, that is an ex- yeah because that movie's not about nine eleven until right. it until is at the, the very end. end. Yeah, until it yeah. very much is. Yeah, and the way it is is in a date written on a chalkboard. Those <laughs> bastards in that fucking. Movie. I will yeah. never get over the trauma of remember me. I don't think. Yeah, I know. But I, I get what I you're saying, Sean. I th- <laughs> I think that the thing is with. Um, I saw a meme that really summed this up well once. It was like the thing about uh, America and their military is they will send your soldiers to your country and ruin your country and then 20 years later make a movie about how ruining your country made their soldiers sad. And that's yes. very true. It's that's always true. about how we're the biggest victims in every yeah. situation. I like how we went from, uh, maybe we went from like, I read a scholarly paper once to like, I read a meme. Mm-hmm. That really <laughs> boiled it down it. for yeah, me. Yeah, it really, it really nailed it. Yeah. It really yes. got me there. No, yeah. and what we do is, if it's on American soil, we don't exploit it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Because we it's don't. Too, it's literally it's too, too close. close. Literally, too close to home. yeah, yeah. Yes, too close exactly. to the homeland. Pearl Harbor is yeah. very serious. 9-11 is very serious. Yeah. If it's on American soil, we don't exploit it. Yeah. I mean, it's Michael. Okay, else. Michael Bay made a Pearl Harbor movie. That seems exploitive. All that. Yeah, yeah, that's probably the closest we get to this type of movie in modern. Yeah. Tra- I don't want to say modern tragedies because that's not modern, but like you know, you know what I mean. No, like, that came out yeah. on two VHS like, tapes. That was not a I modern movie. I see. I don't even think that was exploitive. Yeah, like, I really don't. And like that movie, uh, not exploitive. It, it, I would say what? Um, maybe propaganda. Yeah, well, they, oh, that, it's all exploitive. propaganda. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, I would say exploitive. If it's uh, mm, you know, on, I, on it can be, but it yeah. isn't always. I think that the modern American tragedy movies are more like trauma porn yes. than exploitive. It's yes. just like feel sad. Everyone feels sad in our collective shared national grief. You know, yeah. like uh, that. Right. What was that? Extremely loud and incredibly close. Nine yeah, Eleven movie yeah. was yeah. very serious as well. Yep. And yep. did not go over well. That I remember when Oliver Stone off. made World Trade Center? Yes. Yeah. Paul Greenrass made Flight 93. Yeah. Oof. Or 193. I forget the Yeah, Flight 93. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Fun stuff. Well, <laughs> there was something, wow. but for like, now war movies. I was yeah. a kid when the uh, non exploitation we movies were actually going on, yeah. and there was being a kid and not being terribly aware. You know of the seriousness of of the Vietnam War. Right. It was yeah. like I because I grew up after it, and so. Just the imagery of running around in the woods, basically, or the jungle and shooting, you know, guns and running around like Rambo was like every kid was doing it. You yes. know, I mean, it yeah. was like, like, a, oh, yeah, if you had like a cowboys near, and Indians. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 basically. Yeah. 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 If you had a park near your house, you were running through you, yeah. the jungle shooting mm-hmm. your friends. Yeah. Whether um, you knew what you were doing or not. Right. Yep. Because they made the it was the the, the fun of war, you know, which yes. I think at some point even Hollywood kind of got like, well, we can't we got to make like. You know, Gosh, war is a very, of war. yeah, the horrors of war. Yeah. You know, yeah. that's and why we keep going back to Nazis. It's like, let's make this a little more digestible and easy, and make the bad guys Nazi. Someone, yeah. Yeah. someone call in Steven Spielberg. Yeah. Let's make yeah. this real. Yeah, because yeah, the critics really do come out whenever there's. Because I remember Black Hawk Down was like, mm-hmm. e- even that got criticism for being almost like too. Mm-hmm. Uh, glorifying like yeah. The, yeah. the the battle, you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. But yeah, these movies are, I, I don't know. I mean, how do you see the, the, the You can't really take them seriously. Well, I would no. hope not. No. Yeah. yeah. Well, I feel like I'm, uh, we're, uh, maybe I'll say we, but I am too far away from any of that type of warfare to really think of this stuff in a serious way. You know right. what I mean? Yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 Well, and the approach to this movie also not serious like yes. it's not even necessarily yeah. about the content of the actual war yeah it's the fact that it's fucking bruno Mattei. like yeah right. he's a madman but they, and this is not going to be like a serious war movie it's an italian crew italian writer italian yes. director yes. making like i mean it's not like an american propaganda movie but it's the idea that like american audiences 
like this idea of like the lone solitary hero. Yeah. I mean, you know, right. uh, Stallone kind of popularized it. I guess, yeah. it, you know, Rambo was an extension yeah. of Rocky, but, mm-hmm. it's like, you know, the one man army, I right. guess. Yeah. Is, yeah. yeah. It's like Bruno Mattei had a Rambo comic book and brought it to life in a movie. Yeah. Like, that's what it feels mm-hmm. like to me. He's just. Yeah, he doesn't care about, no. like, I mean, no. that's the thing. They're they're completely ignorant of the, you know, any kind of Absolutely. political, you know, mm-hmm. ramifications of what they're doing. They're just yes. like, we're going to have fun. We're going to have explosions. Mm-hmm. There's going to be guys running through the woods. And in front of it, we have the apex of American idealism. Mm-hmm. And that is, of course, the great actor. Red Brown. Red Brown. Mm-hmm. You're himself. Saturday Night Freak Show icon. Yes. I- Red Brown. It's, yes. it's Reb's world. Yeah. Uh, it is. He's the man. He's the man. <laughs> yeah. You have to, uh, for that reference, go back and listen to our You're no, the no, Hunter. For that from- reference, go buy your <laughs> Hunter from the Future like on Blu-ray. Did, yes. <laughs> and listen like to that soundtrack did. album. Well, sure. Because there's, the theme song is like, you can't, you yeah. can't, uh, you know, figure out what the hell anybody's saying. I think we had to actually go look up like the lyrics mm-hmm. at some point to to decipher it. There's action figures in that movie. And there are <laughs> He-Man action figures swinging from. <laughs> yeah, 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 oh, it's great. Yeah. It's, it's fantastic. fantastic. He was so, also in Night Call, which Night we Claus. also watched. Night Claus, yeah. which was which, that was yes. the bad one, right? That was the bad That's one. That's the bad one with Frank Stallone, right? Yeah, yep. at the end okay. yep. for three minutes. Yep. Yeah, that was the shot on video Bigfoot movie. Yes. yes. Um, yeah. But yes, by your math, that means that we have put uh, Reb Brown, Brown on the Saturday yes. Night Freak Show Congratulations. Wall of Fame. And it must be a picture of your that we put on the yeah. wall. Yeah, we can't it was an action figure. Just an action figure, like we understand it. Nobody else does. Well, um, Red Brown, he was not like a football pl- player or something before. He was just an actor, right? But everybody knows him from the Captain America mm-hmm. TV series. He was the first Captain America, yeah. mm-hmm. right? Live action Captain America. Yes. Have they it let him have a cameo in any Marvel movie or no. anything? No, really? Because they love doing that shit. They do. I'm surprised yeah, I'm that surprised. he hasn't been like. Yeah. A Hydra member or some shit. Or I think something. he's yeah. still working. I, I read somewhere that he took a hiatus and started working again in 2012. He was also in Howling 2, which has surprisingly also yet not come to the Saturday I, has it? Okay, I was just going to ask no. that. I'm really surprised. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, Red, Brown's, Red Brown is in... S- Oh, is it? <laughs> 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 that famous was oh, that seventies, late seventies. I, like, <laughs> I started to deflate. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. Was that a snake Sean on a plane speaking. movie? What was that a snake I, on a plane? I, I hope movie? so. Yeah. Snake, it is definitely a snake movie. Yeah. Um, he was an earthquake. Mm. I don't you can rem- keep going. Man, I don't remember him in, in earthquake. Um, so. Um, MF Man, the keeper of the Saturday Night Freak mm-hmm. Show Wall of Fame, also wants us to know that, yeah, we have put Bruno Mattei. Uh, so thank you very oh, much, Holly. Yeah. Uh, yeah. He is also I on so. the. Yeah. I thought this was going to do it. We didn't do what Cruel else? Jaws, did we? No, we didn't. No, we never watched Cruel we Jaws. We did um, Night Claws. Night Claws. And, and Shocking Dark. And in this. Shocking Dark. Yeah. Yep, yeah. indeed. So, gentlemen, your uh, certificates are in the mail. <laughs> uh, this movie's also written by Claudio Fergrasso. Yeah. Who I believe directed, am I right? Night Killer, the the famous yes. Texas Chainsaw Massacre three, the Italian Texas Chainsaw Massacre three <laughs> that we watched, yes. which and, we loved. Yes, that one yes. we enjoyed. Yeah, this was this is your winter of night trilogy. My, we did, yeah, right? my yeah. night trilogy. I picked yeah. three night movies in a row. It was Night Claws, Night Killer, and Night. Train? Beast? Night, Night Beast. Night, Night Beast. Beast. Night Beast. Which yeah. is great. We liked that one we too. Liked Night yeah. Beast, yes. Night Killer and Night Beast were good. There was Night Killer is nuts. Night Beast is just. Very fun. Yeah, yeah that was that was, was great. Was I really like that. JJ Abrams first. Yeah, uh, yeah. Movie yep. well, he did the music. Right? He did the yeah, music yeah, for yeah. Night that Beast. Was a fun one. Yeah. Um, we should also mention for you out there who are, you know we'd be remiss if we didn't say Claudio forgot. So the writer of this was the director of the best worst movie Troll Two. Yes. Yeah. Which has also which not been seen. done yeah. on the Saturday Night mm-hmm. Freak Show. Huh. Uh, but there was a movie made about it called yeah, Best, Best Worst Movie. movie. Right, yeah. right, right. You should watch that if you, even if you haven't seen mm-hmm. Troll yep. 2. It's, it's good. And this is a period of time when the Italians were shooting movies in the Philippines. They did a lot yes. of stuff in the Philippines uh, because of cheap uh, tax. Sure. You know, I don't know, credits and they could make the lira. Mm-hmm. Stretch a little well, further. I was going to say, yeah, the money probably went far over there. Mm-hmm. This movie come out uh, in the theaters here, Holly? That is a great question. Another reason that I chose this movie tonight is because it had one 
theatrical premiere in Kansas in City. Kansas City. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So in honor of Where the Super Bowl tonight. Where movies go to die. Yeah. <laughs> oh, there we go. In why honor of the Super Bowl. Why Kansas City? That's a great question and I could not find okay. the answer. There's probably somebody lives there. I, Maybe that's Red so. Brown's Rep, hometown. Red Brown like is from Los Angeles. So okay. I was like, I don't know why it okay. was Kansas City, but Interesting. it only premiered in Kansas City. Can you describe for the audience who may not be familiar with him, uh, give, what like the, the persona of Reb, the screen persona of Reb Brown, how does he come off? Reb Brown, hmm, that's a good question. He's a violent innocence. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like a lifetime movie. Violent innocence. Also Ooh, not wrong. Copyright 2024 Saturday <laughs> Freak Show. Violent innocence. I love that title. Holy shit, but it's also not wrong. It's, it's not, not wrong. wrong. Yeah. It's not wrong. But he has that 80s TV actor energy. But he's like, you know? He's yeah, got a big golden retriever energy. Yeah, yeah. Yes, when he's not killing people. He's yeah. so wholesome. Yeah. Like, it's weird. So incredible. It's real weird. Yeah. 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 He's just like happy. In Vietnam. <laughs> like, right. He's like, I'm hanging with the people. Yeah. We're going to get them out of here. He's this really is going to be great. He's really excited about popcorn. Like, yeah. He's just so oh wholesome. I looked it up. That when he's we a get goddamn to American. <laughs> I think that, maybe that's why he's yeah. in this movie. He is Captain America. He's right. Captain America. Yeah. Right, right, yeah. 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 There we go. <laughs> no, he is. He has. A, I mean, you're right. He has like a kind of, I guess you see the guy through any of the parts that he plays because yeah. he's a shit actor. Am I wrong? Yeah, he's not good. He's not I good. Mean, but I mean, he haven't seen a lot, but I, I mean, his range in this is. I don't know when he really... starts crying. I have to try to not laugh. <laughs> like his his crying face and his cry, like heaving, is so he so. Heaves. He's a very soap opera he's, actor. Yeah. Like. he whimpers at one point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like a guy who never like took an acting lesson not in, in his, his life. life. No, doing you know, it's like. Yeah, I mean, it's like getting your buddy and like, okay, yeah. you're going to be in my movie, you yeah. know, but I, it's like... At least he's not underacting. Like, he, at least he has, it like, extremes. Yeah, like, well, he's no. going for yeah. it. Right. I yeah. appreciate that, yeah. but like, it's just... You know, like, you know the story of, like, Harrison Ford was, like, a carpenter and yeah, cast, yeah. whatever? Like, I feel like it's like that, but... Like Bruno T- Bruno Mattei's like pool boy or something. Yeah, <laughs> like, I, I the guy like, cleaning his pool. He's like, you got something, kid. I see. Yeah. I feel like he seems like one of my dad's friends that would also be like the soccer coach. You yeah, know, like the youth soccer coach is yeah. kind of like the vibe he has. Like he's good with kids because he's like a golden retriever, like yes. you said. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's like the most non-threatening. Oh, we yeah, love action non-threatening hero. Yeah, of all. Coach Brown. Yeah. Coach Brown's the best. Coach Brown's the best. Yeah. The most non-threatening action hero. Yeah. People yeah. call people call Red Brown coach. Yeah, they exactly. Yeah, I bet. No matter what, one hundred percent. One hundred percent. What's wrong, kid? Well, Coach Brown. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> coach. Do you have time day. to listen to me? Has we rap about something. A football coach or a baseball. Coach, he has. I mean, that seems turns, like that's turns where. Chair you, backwards yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> I'm here for you, kid. Um, I think he'd been to Vietnam. Was he in Uncommon Valor? The, yes. Okay, he was. So, um, I, we talked about that. I think the last time that I, we probably, talked yeah. about it, Reb Brown. Um, okay, so uh, here we are. Yeah. Um, we Rambo First Blood Part Two has come out and taken the global box office by storm i think that was the highest grossing movie by a while yeah. in uh or by a mile in 1985 and so okay. the italians are like there's gold mm-hmm. there and these movies are lethally cheap to make because yep. i think there's only one other genre uh that you can just kind of like get a camera and some people and some props, and you can go do it. And that's the, uh, well, maybe two, the sword and the sorcery genre, mm-hmm. the post-apocalyptic Mad Max kind of genre, mm-hmm. and the Vietnam War movie. Mm-hmm. Yeah, going it to find like a it's wood- too hard to make a Vietnam War movie. No. Yeah. Like, at all. What, are you going to spend money on gasoline? Mm-hmm. Yeah, pretty much. Plastique. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's it. Yeah, and some bullets. Much. Some mm-hmm. yeah. You just hit up the like army surplus. You need squibs. Yep, exactly. That's, That's all you need is just done. a lot of squibs. No, it's interesting that you said that. Well, okay, but not right, blood not, squibs. Not blood squibs. No, no. Yeah. I'm sorry. Maybe just the um, the explosions when bullets hit uh, objects because you don't need the, uh, no squibs in this movie. No, none. Yeah. Was that yeah, surprising? There's no, there's no blood in this. I think well, there's no, a little there's, bit. There's, there's, there's a little bit of blood, but I th- but it feels more aftermath. Yeah, blood. Yes. We see after the fact blood. We but I think see, they like, thought the we are yeah. going to shoot so many people. We're just going to shoot it this way, yeah. where everyone does the dance. Yeah, yeah. and then <laughs> dies. They are like. They're in it. Like they're it's convulsing. almost like a chorus yeah. line. Like yeah. I'm sure yeah. there's outtakes where they're all like, ah, and then yeah. oh, and they're this, kicking. This does is very like stage 
direction vibes and the way people oh, yeah. act and move within the mm-hmm. scene. It feels very stage play. Yeah. Yeah. It, it, I wouldn't be surprised if they had like, I don't know, like a hundred foot square patch of jungle. They filmed this whole movie and, <laughs> you know, just from yeah. different angles and walking around in a circle, you know. So you're close to the hotel. Yeah, or exactly. Goes yep. at, uh, yeah. yeah. I think the end of the movie is shot in a hotel. <laughs> like, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Um, there's a lot of, uh, so I guess I suppose Filipino actors mm-hmm. in this, um, uh, I would assume that, I don't know if, uh, like they have stunt crews and, um, you know, like wh- whoever does like the action stuff. Cause like you're saying, they're doing that dancing, like, you know, uh, when they get shot and falling yeah. all over the place. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, it has to be, as you were talking about before, the fact that like whenever they make these movies, they're always playing the bad guys. It's yeah. like your big shot of being on screen yes. in a in, in a movie that's going to get exported is playing the bad guy. Uh, yeah, <laughs> in an yeah. American Vietnam or a Vietnam mm-hmm. movie. Um, all right. So what uh, what's the, what's the setup here? What what do we got going on? Well, we're in Vietnam, Colin. <laughs> the v- the height of the Vietnam War. Yeah, and we're with the Strike Commandos mm-hmm. who are on a mission. To blow up a compound. Mm -hmm. And so Red Brown is leading his team of, I think, two other men, three other men, into to... uh, There's three or four of them, I think. To To strike commandos, yeah. Strike commandos to set up detonators around the camp, Mm -hmm. to sneak in, and then to blow it up. And you've got a rogue, is he a colonel? In general, I think. General? general? Kind of a rogue general who's just like, "Ah, blow them up. It's like, no, they've got three minutes. And so we're fighting against the clock at this point Mm -hmm. to get this all set up. Yeah, this general suspiciously puts time frames on a lot of things. Yeah. Yeah, rather than it just being done and blowing it up, he's just like, you have three minutes. I don't care if you're done or not. We're blowing it up. It's just like, "Ah, I didn't understand this. No. No. And he does it a lot. He does it a lot. Yeah. Yeah. It really should be like, get in, and if anything goes wrong, get out. Right. But no, there's time frame. Yeah. Very specific. So the general, um, I can't remember his name. The the actor is Christopher Connolly. Yeah. Who we all remember from Benji. I haven't watched fucking Benji. Wow, yeah. (laughs) Is he in Benji? He's in Benji. I haven't seen Benji (laughs) since I was like... Yeah, well, he on TV all the time. Colonel yeah. Raddick. Colonel Raddick, Raddick. of course, because yeah. that sounds yeah, uh, like right out of a Rambo. It does because isn't there's a general? Oh, there's a general Raddick in Air Force One. Yeah, that's a good villain name. Ooh, but yeah. Christopher Connolly, you remember, was also in what was the name of that movie? Um, was a Warlords of Atlantis? Sure, Colin. Oh yeah. Yeah. What? Yeah. yeah. What? what? I've that post apocalyptic <laughs> Italian movie. <laughs> that other weird war movie I brought. Was it Atlantis? Oh, is that what it was called? Yeah. No, it was called something else. Uh, Atlantis Interceptors. Fuck what was I remember yeah. we did it, was but it I don't Warlords remember it being called Atlantis? Warlords of Atlantis. <laughs> no. The one where they're going to Detroit? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> where Detroit was their big destination? Yeah. <laughs> I remember, remember there's a the guy with the glass. With the yeah, when he had the, like the glass mask or whatever. <laughs> I thought he had really piercing eyes. Warlords of Atlantis is a different movie. Kind of. uh, damn it! Yeah, what is Atlantis this one called? Is, I don't. Isn't it something? It was. Fuck. Fuck. Well, no. Now I have to know. What was that movie called? This is terrible. <laughs> we can't remember it. It was an Italian movie, and we watched it. Uh, See, this is okay. this is me every week, Colin. I never, I never remember anything we watch. I thought you brought it. War, I was did. It, was it just war in Atlantis or what? Uh, okay, I'm, I'm googling. I'll find, find out. Yeah. Michaela's gonna figure this one out. <laughs> I'm Detroit. Uh, Detroit. Guys, I'm, 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 I hope you're googling Detroit. No, war I'm Atlantis. googling Atlantis in the name of our podcast because it'll come up. With <laughs> oh. All right, or just look up war. Christopher Connolly because he's got a show. Oh, he yeah, was yeah. in uh, Manhattan Baby with Raiders of Atlantis. Raiders, Raiders of, of Atlantis. Atlantis. There it is. There it is. There it is. Yep. Yep. Uh, we've done, we're almost at 600 yeah. we've done a lot yeah. um okay so yeah we're getting old man <laughs> Come on. and he has well so his character he's the evil general radic yes. and he has a troutman right oh, character what? yeah uh, from Ram- the Rambo series. You got uh, the Richard Crenna. He even yes. The guy looks like Richard Crenna. He's the Troutman. He's the guy who's <laughs> on, uh, what's uh, what's Red Brown's character's name? Michael Ma- Ransom. Mike Ransom. Ransom, yep. yeah. Mike Ransom. We're getting a call from Ransom. Ransom is going to tell us. I like, I like Ransom's the going on. I like and- the name, if Ransom. It, if anyone name. wants a drinking game while watching this, shot every time they say Ransom. Ransom. Mm-hmm. Ransom. You'll be Ransom. loaded. It's not Rambo. It's Ransom. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So there you go. Okay, so uh, anyway, the... Ransom, First Cry, part two. <laughs> yep. 
and the general detonates the after they've gone and, and laced the village with uh, you know explosives. Yeah. The general detonates them early, mm-hmm. and all the strike team are killed in huge fireball explosions that we love on this show. Tons of explosions. Well, technically, I think they were killed before and a little bit after, but yes, yeah. they were killed by the enemy. Yeah, there was. One dude a got shot at point blank range. The other dude got shot as they were running away. And one of Red was, Brown got one of them was just thrown over a table and died. <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Red Brown got blown into the river. Mm-hmm. And so they're like, and so yeah, Radix just like they'll be remembered. Yeah, they're heroes. Let's <laughs> heroes. move on. <laughs> let's uh, let's leave. Yeah. So, Gosh. but it turns Gosh. out. Right, that uh, one floated downstream. Yeah, he turns mo- out that Red Brown can he hold just, his breath for a long time. Just Moses his way down on a basket. He really did. He I really thought did. he was going to have like a little like straw or something, and nope. that's how he was that breathing. Been fun. Uh, yeah. They well, couldn't. They, g- they couldn't straw, give. Like, yeah, yeah, they couldn't give him a twig to hold they in kept, that scene. They huh? kept showing like the the branch floating along. Yeah. And I'm like, okay, we get he's under the branch, but I was waiting for the straw. Yeah, same. And then yeah. no, he held his breath for miles. Or they didn't even think about it. No, they didn't even think. He's just under there. This yeah. is Bruno Mattei. Yeah. Yeah. Not gonna think about that. <laughs> There's a cut scene where he breathes through the hole in the back of his neck. But like, he's like if <laughs> if we're having these ideas that are five steps ahead of this movie, why can't we make movies, guys? If they, you know what I'm saying? Like if, because if we'd he be make, laughed out of theaters if we made this movie today. But, but if Bruno Mattei can make movies like this and have a career... I'm saying Had us not. Career, I'm yes. saying us not even thinking about it. Is oh, trust me, I would love to take the, every so like, the ten of the most recent shark movies and then make a movie out of yeah, that and it, then have people go see it. I would yeah. love to do exactly. that. Exactly. This is a. It's a, but it's a great time in movies where you you could go to the Cannes Film Festival with a poster and yeah. say I've got Reb Brown and he's done these you know five other things and get somebody to give you money. To go, it's going to be like Rambo, and they're like, uh, "Yeah, that yeah. does well over in my country." Yeah, here's this the is money. not the era that we live in anymore. Because yeah. let's not forget, Miami Connection went to con, and that would never happen today. That's true. <laughs> and if they did, it would be like Different a era. stunt thing. It right. would, it, yeah. You know, yeah, yeah. 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 it wouldn't yeah. be sincere. Like yeah. they couldn't get into Cannes, but they showed up anyway. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Walk the steps with a poster and be like, "We're here," but you're not there. Like, that's the yeah, somebody will figure there. out how They'd to. Be like, Are you protesting? Yeah, it's yeah. Just, <laughs> I'm protesting not being in this festival <laughs> with this glorious movie. Um, so Ransom uh, is rescued. <laughs> Drink. Um, yeah. Well, he's he's trying real hard to get rescued. He's he's res- He's kind of rescued. He's rescued by the, a small, he's, a very small village. Yeah. Of, of, of he's rescued people. like how they're rescued by the Ewoks and Jedi. <laughs> 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 That's the first it's like this is a very Ewok thing. Yeah, yes. it is. It's yeah. the same like. thing. Like he's rescued, but he's also a prisoner. Mm-hmm. Right. Well, I was same curious thing. if he was a prisoner. It feels like he is because he's you know tied or he's got a rope around his leg mm-hmm. and he ends up dangling out of a yeah. uh, out of a house. This was a great moment. Like the, he wakes up, to, uh, to, to, he wakes up screaming, and then to everyone else screaming at him because they're the all monkey. in like and the monkey <laughs> screaming. The yeah, they're screaming. all in white face yeah. makeup because yeah, the, the nursing him back right, to health. Like, like they all scream, screaming face, screaming face, screaming face, monkey screaming, screaming face. face. <laughs> that never comes back. No. They had, no. they got that monkey for one scene just to scream in the face. That was it. I was yep. I was I was like, ooh, we're the introducing was animal. He off. I know. All the animals that get introduced in this movie. Just, wouldn't it have been great if for the rest of the movie, Red Brown had a monkey on his shoulder? Yeah. Like, that would have been fantastic. Much better movie. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but well, again, he falls backward out of the like, thing. Straight yeah. Commando and Max. Yeah. You know? yeah. Oh, there we go. That's uh, that's the sequel, but the sequel doesn't have Red Brown. So. Yeah. Or even if it was just like the it doesn't? Henchman's no. movie. No. What? No. It was same character, strike, different. Strike Commando 2, uh, Red Brown's character was recast yes. uh, by, um, what's his name? Brent Huff. Yeah, oh, something like that. Um, but that one also features uh, Richard Harris. What? Really? Like the Richard Dumbledore. Harris? Dumbledore. Wow. wow. What? Yeah, he's in that movie. Holy shit. Yeah. Wow. wow. Uh, yeah, everybody goes through career low points. Was it another Bruno Mattei movie? Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Co-directed by Bruno Mattei and uh, Claudio Fergasso. Oh, of course. Uh, okay. All right. Well, that, I'm that, yeah. well Co-directed. Yeah. Is, it, is it a better, regarded as a better movie than no. Strike? I can't Harry imagine. Commander? No, it's not. It's okay. not. It's um, pretty much beat for beat Rambo 2. Okay. Yeah. All right. <laughs> uh, so they just did this movie again. Okay. Yeah. So... Uh, ransom right now the 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 villagers if I remember correctly hail him as a hero American. and worship American, American. Yeah. Yeah. American. literally chanting they chant and uh, again dis- much like the Ewoks with C three PO yep <laughs> right. they're disappointed that he doesn't kill a Viet Cong prisoner mm-hmm. it's like you're American you kill people kill this man yeah yeah 
And um, once they do, then it's like, okay, uh, American, will you take us with you and get us out of here? And he's like, yeah. sure. And there's one random like French dude. Oh, yeah, the old French guy. Old yeah. man that's drinking the whole time. Yeah, because it used to be like a there was, mission. Yeah, there was, there, was a, mission. there was a missionary that had like set up a church and... You know, tried to save this village. But he was killed by he was killed by an evil Russian. He was because a Russian and a woman showed up. Mm -hmm. A white woman, as they say in the movie. Yeah, maybe a white Russian woman. A white Russian. Yeah, that's good. Thank you very much. You did that. Uh, (laughs) And uh, so then, okay, so early in the movie, then we've set up uh, our our bad guys, like two tiers of bad guys. Yeah, because he's got to get revenge. Three. Three. There's three. Oh, we've we, got we the uh, Viet Cong. We've okay. got the um, the Colonel yep. and the Russian. Mm-hmm. We've got three yep. because it's the '80s, so you got to throw Russians in there too. Yeah, yep. you got to have Russians. Right. You got to. That's just how it works. And they're in Rambo. They're in Rambo. So away we go off into the jungle. He's leading this oh, yeah. like uh, you know the uh, ragtag group of um, villagers. Yep. Mm-hmm. Um, and the, there, there's a, a young boy. There. Yep. Yeah. Oh, crucial. Okay. Very yep. important to character <laughs> very, development. Very good this motivation movie. for a, this character. Yeah. A couple different scenes with this Ollie, young man. Yeah. Describe Disneyland. <laughs> mm, Disneyland is where <laughs> you can have all the candy you can eat. Popcorn oh, grows on trees. The popcorn. entire monologue is on uh, oh, IMDb. Oh, right. Michaela, hey. please recite. Please, yeah, uh-huh. please give us a little something, something. Now, you guys have to imagine um, Red Brown doing like soap ac- actor sobbing. You're going to have to I cannot do this. pull. I don't think I can do that. <laughs> sobbing. But, wait, see, is okay, well, sobbing. Okay, he, he does it without <laughs> wait, sobbing Is, is this earlier. the first speech or the death speech? No, this is the death one. Okay, they're, okay, <laughs> they're the same, yeah. first of all. Yeah. Okay. He's yeah. just repeating shit to the yeah. kid. Yeah. They got tons of popcorn there. Yep. Mm-hmm. All you gotta do is climb a tree, get as much as you want, yeah. and it's in the tree. And there's cotton candy, mountains of it, ah. and chocolate milk, and malts, and there's a genie, a magic genie, and he can't wait to grant your wishes. This <laughs> is beautiful. why people this are coming to this country. Yeah. The, they are misinformed the, about what happens here. The first they thing think we're you, fucking the chocolate factory. This, the first thing this guy thinks of when he thinks of Disneyland is they have lots of popcorn there. Yeah, That's his number cream. one takeaway yeah. is popcorn. <laughs> got popcorn. But what is yeah. he called? Uh, describe to me Mickey Mouse and Donald Duckland, I think is yeah. what the kid calls yeah, it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, he doesn't. He fails to mention to the kid that you're actually going to have to take out a loan to get to this thing. Right. right yeah. Well, it was yeah. much cheaper back. Then. Well, that's it very was true. Cheaper. Yeah. Yeah. It was cheaper, but it was still like pricey because I went there when I was a kid, and it was still pricey. Not as bad. Right. Now but as you it could. Is. But you. But two parents could take three kids and be fine. My because my parents did it many times. Yeah, we went several times. <laughs> right. But yeah, yeah. So you could pull it off. Unlike today, but where you're a, just you like, know, a small Vietnam village boy could not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No. No. <laughs> just saying. No. Um, no. He'd have to. Maybe. He he, maybe but maybe there. he could get a job there. So much popcorn. Maybe that was. Maybe he kept saying that because he's like the only thing this kid's gonna afford is popcorn. <laughs> I should. I should <laughs> tell him. Right. That's, right. That's, we tell him. Wait. We tell him really about the turkey I'm, leg, but he ain't gonna get to that level. That's the snack I'm telling him about. Right. Maybe a cotton candy. Sure. Well, if I remember the you know, the course of events in this movie, which were basically uh, my my big takeaway is that there was at least two slaughter montages stolen from the Rambo movies, where yes. Red Brown is at one point even disguised as a tree, and yep. you know comes out and stabs some guy, and he's mm-hmm. garroting other people, and you know um, the whole movie. I'm waiting for him to pop out of the water. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He's and a, he, did. He's a, he did. He did. He's a one-man war machine, as, <laughs> yep. as his uh, his commanding officer. Your army can't touch him. him. Right. Yep. Nobody in your goddamn service can touch him. So they, the which army, we even talked about that his like his ally is Major Her- Major Harriman. That's I think. the Troutman yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. Michael Mike Monty. The actor yeah, this guy's familiar. He's not credited in this movie. Oh really? He huh. has one of the main roles, and he's not even credited in this movie. Oh, who? He must like have if you pissed look off up, the Italians. Like yeah. if you look it up online, obviously he is, but not like in the credits of this That's movie. Weird. Embarrassment. Not on there. I'm all oh. sued to get his name taken. <laughs> not credited. I, I can't imagine. Yeah. Like there, I don't think he did anything that would be the movie as a whole. Maybe, but his character was nothing embarrassing. I mean, I Claudia Fergrassi's movie is spelled wrong in the credits. It's entirely oh, yeah, yeah, possible yeah. the people making the they titles forgot. just forgot. It's entirely <laughs> possible they forgot. They You're right. 100% just right. forgot. Yeah. Just forgot You're to right. put right. them forgot on here. Yep. <laughs> Can you imagine Mike travels to Kansas City to yep. watch this movie? <laughs> right. And he doesn't even see his name. It was probably his hometown. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that was how they made up he for it. He invited <laughs> distant cousins to come 
come watch this movie and look what happened. Yep. <laughs> Name not even in the credits. Uh, oh, poor Mike. Uh, that was the day he died. <laughs> yep. Well, uh, the um, uh, uh, ransom ends up mm-hmm. like scouting ahead, killing a bunch of dudes, and then uh, when he returns to the camp, everybody's dead. Yes. yes. It, yeah. It's the the scene where he blows up the boat. There's he just this man. Which go, boat? He blows th- up. A I know, but boats. this man goes through far too many grenades. There's far too of, many. A lot of grenade action in this movie. Like I appreciate but, the explosions, but the yeah. way he's just like handing them out when without any thought to it. It's just wasteful. And it's not like he has like two bandoliers full of grenades. Right. No, they're, they're just showing up out of nowhere. Out of nowhere. Yeah. 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 Like the first one cool he got from look. the French guy, he's like, these are from 1952. I hope and they still work. I yeah. love his enthusiasm. He's like, my grenades work. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, that was so good. excited. He's like, yes. Vive la France. <laughs> <laughs> and the grenades always smoke. But like oh, he yeah. sets them and he's like, it's a bomb. You got like two or three minutes before it goes like, off. That's and it not, smokes and you're never like, have I known a grenade to work like no. this. But like this was thing. invented for this movie. But correct? Here's the thing. I've never seen a live grenade go off. Yeah, same. So uh, maybe they do. Yeah. I have true. no idea. Yep. Every single other movie besides this one tells me otherwise. I mean, but smoke grenades go off like that. Mm-hmm. They do. But yes. yeah, but yeah, grenades yeah. don't have like a two minute time limit. No, until no they, they don't go have two off. minutes. No. Unless these unless grenades of a different time were Longer? I, don't, I, don't, I don't think so. No, I don't either. Just, just, <laughs> the, just you the pull the pin and you have. I yeah. don't think like so either. Seconds. I'm just saying mm-hmm. I can't say for sure because I don't know. I mean, yeah. okay. <laughs> um, can't argue there. Well, so now that he, well, I think when he has the tear streaked, uh, you know, the speech to the kid. Mm-hmm. Yes, because the kid is the, the kid is still is the only one that's still slightly alive. Well, yeah. there's right. one even, other alive person. I was like, even but though not every person enough. he like steps over moves to get out of his way. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you can hear a small. Ugh. Yeah. <laughs> it's pretty great. Yeah. Yes. Uh, I was looking for people. I'm like, they're all dead, but I'm they're looking for people breathing. Yeah. yeah, they were I'm all moving. Like, every would it surprise one you to learn that Bruno Mattei is also known? Known as the Italian Ed Wood. I am not shocked by that at all. That no. sounds appropriate. Uh, that so, makes sense. <laughs> um, so then the kid, in his last words, get to impart that the uh, the villagers were killed by the Russian, the Russian yes. and a white woman. And a white. Uh, it was a big Russian and a white woman. But he gives the name of the Russian, said whose that name in a Russian I did. I don't know why. <laughs> it just felt right. <laughs> but you're right. Which leads to Red Brown screaming. Uh, you know that build up. Dakota! Of, yeah, there it is. There it is. <laughs> he screams that a lot. Dakota! He does <laughs> as he's unloading because I mean we're talking about the uh, grenade porn, but there's yeah. also bullet porn. There's bullet porn. There's yeah. Some, oh yeah, there's bullet porn. He they is, go through everyone wastes so much so ammo. So many the amount of rocket launchers they waste on him running across that open field. Oh yeah. The, oh my the, god, it's spectacular. The, if his the goal, mortar, the mortar if his fire, goal yeah. was to deplete their ammo stash, it worked because <laughs> right. wow, yeah. my god, he's, they lost so he's much. Killing it. That's great. There is literally a scene where he is running in a straight line. A straight line. In a wide open field, no right. no like, visual like, obstacles, <laughs> nothing. You don't have to do much math to figure out no. where you got to point the yeah, thing. And it looks like like half of the Viet Cong is like around him, but none of them <laughs> can get him. him. No. None of them. No, they're 20 feet away, and he has enough time to turn around and shoot them. I'm just like, why aren't they shooting yeah. at him? But, you know, he's the American hero. Yeah. He can't die. It's true. It's amazing. People can shoot toward him even when he's walking away from them, mm-hmm. and he still doesn't get hit. Right. I a mean, man unloaded at least five bullets at this guy before he turned around and shot him. I mean, the major did it. say no one in your goddamn army can touch him. It, he, he warned him. He did. Yeah, it's he true. Him. It's very possible that this man is supernatural in some way. I wish the movie would have gone be. that way. Have we Strike had Commando that movie? Two. Have we had the supernatural no- non exploitation? I want Strike that. Two. The supernatural. Okay, first of all, this is the first <laughs> non exploitation, but the supernatural. Like we're gonna veer off into that. Yes. Maybe yeah. they veered off and do it real quick. Yeah. They're just like yeah. we've done enough explosions and firepower. Let's uh, let's yeah. make him a fucking ghost. Yeah. <laughs> Strike Commando Two. My sister's a supernatural soldier. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Yeah. I love it. I'm there in. we go. <laughs> I well, love this. Was there? There was a, a sis. We're the Russian. A <laughs> moment that was stolen from Rambo Two, where like the helicopter was approaching and then like to pick them up and then they got called off, right? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Like the Troutman character is in the helicopter and then mm-hmm. he gets called off. I mean, it, it's in Rambo too, yeah. but it's also here. Yeah. And so that, of course, means that um, General uh, Raddick. Raddick is Raddick! like, right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm yeah. going to get him too. You yeah. know, I'm going to get back to the base. Oh, yeah, so I can take him list. out. Yeah. Well, at this point, he doesn't know. 
Right. right. No, right. He yeah. just knows Raddick's just an asshole, right. not, yeah. a, not a, a treasonous he's, asshole. He's, he, right now, he's just after the Russian. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Just the after big, the Russian. The big yeah. Russian. So in order to find the big Russian, he has to, uh, I remember he, he pounces out at, of the woods at some uh, Viet Cong guy. Yeah. All he's got to do is yell his name and fire a thousand bullets, and he's there. Yeah, so that's how he says hello, I think. Yes. Well, yeah. <laughs> yeah, basically, that is because, his introduction. Yeah, because at this point he was rescued. He goes back to base, and then... Oh, yeah. The, oh, shit, that's yeah, right. Oh, yeah. I forget. Yeah. He's, yeah. When he's, he's running like, what, across the rice paddies, and they're, like, shooting at him, and no one can touch him, he's rescued. Right, he does that. sit in a guy's yeah. lap and gets mm-hmm. rescued. You're he right. does sit in a guy's lap in the helicopter. That's he right. gets yeah. hugged yeah. into the helicopter. He's like, he does. Come here, buddy. He does. It's very romantic. But he does go back to Raddick and his, mm-hmm. his superior officer. And he's Judy. like... Yeah, and he's like the like, Russians are here, and everyone's like, and he presents no. him with a medal. He's like, I'm going like, to give you the silver medal because there's right. press there. Yeah, uh, I felt pressured into it. I think, yeah, yeah, because yeah, yeah. I thought that this was going to be the scene where you know it's like Murdoch, I'm coming for you, right? Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. And uh, no, at this point, this he is before know. he gets captured. Yeah, because he goes back. Yes. Because, he goes back. Okay. Yeah, back because he's he tells yeah. Raddick he's like the Russians are here, he's and then like, Raddick, which makes sense later, is just like, I will not support you in this, but I will give you a camera. Mm-hmm. And you will take. And you will take. Yeah. And, <laughs> and, and you, Rob Rod and you will, clearly has never seen a camera. And he's like, oh, he's fascinating. <laughs> Look at the buttons. Like, he's like, what is Again, this contraption? The innocence of like, oh, I'm going to take pictures. It is like if you gave a golden retriever a camera. He's like, this truly is is. great, but what right, do just I do around with his it? neck. Yeah. yeah. It's like this is fantastic. How does it work? Yeah. <laughs> That's why you live for this. The right. And job. the man. And it doesn't matter. The man doesn't take a single picture. No, it comes to absolutely nothing. Nothing. Yeah. Absolutely nothing. No. Well, it's, his. It's Mission, cute, he is supposed to go and retrieve evidence of the Russians being there, yes. right? Yes. Which did we did we talk about the Russians standoff with the Cobra? A disappoint I disappointing. So disappointing. disappointing. Very disappointing. They could have done it way better. It, it, we're talking like a real cobra here, not yeah. like a not and, like a nickname for somebody. Yeah. And by I'm... by saying like they could have done it better, they could have done something. Yeah, because <laughs> right, yeah, like exactly. anything. He stare. He makes eye contact with this cobra out of nowhere. We have no context for this scene or why it's happening. And which which again is not the problem. Yeah, because yeah. Out of context, cobra stare down. Fine, fine. Love it. Yeah, right. sure, yeah. Love it. And uh, they're having a stare down. They cut back and forth, and you're thinking like. Cool. Yeah. He's gonna like Intimidate snatch it or something. kill it or do I was, something. Yeah, I was waiting for him to stare it to death. Yeah, and it literally like yeah. falls. That's over what that. I wanted. Just like Ip. yeah, I was hoping the cobra was gonna recognize like dominance and then turn around and go the other way. Sorry. Right, or but like, yeah. I would have hoped yeah. not even turn around and go the other way. But have you ever seen a cobra back up? Yeah, like, yeah. That's like, what like, I wanted. Yeah. Just like, oh shit, I gotta get out of here. Yeah. <laughs> right, it's like yeah. I've never seen a snake slither backwards. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And that would have been good. Totally okay if it's just running the footage back. Yeah, exactly. Which is what no, no, no. If That's they didn't do that, yeah. disappointment. That's Instead, what I want to see. Or pick it up and just be like, Hah! yeah, That's, yeah. I was like, just bite into it. That's how That's you establish right. a bad guy. Yeah, yeah, and he, uh, yeah, yeah. He kicks he, it. He just kicks he, it. He out swipes of, it away. Frame. It's yeah. just it. yeah. Yeah, yeah it's like when you find a spider in your house, he does that kind of like, ugh, get out of here yeah. thing. Yeah, and then that's nice. very anticlimactic. Yeah, yeah, I was disappointed in this Russian. Yeah. Well, uh, uh, Ransom goes back and then uh, he's uh, captured. Well, yeah, he, his... he, he's captured because they. it turns out they have another one of the strike commandos held hostage. Yes, they're approaching a, uh, a bridge and he thinks he's going to get the drop on the bridge. Turns out it's their... Um, an they're, ambush. Waiting, they're waiting for him. It's yeah, an, an ambush. ambush. I knew the kid listening to music all happy. I'm like, that kid's going to die. They kill the other people on his boat, destroy the boat, and he is taken right. hostage. This is where he, well, yeah, he, this is where, well, he goes to the village, and this he is where he goes. Dakota! Yeah. And then he fires Dakota! a thousand bullets at everything, mm-hmm. hits no one. Yeah, he, again, and wasting then he is, ammunition right, because there's nobody around from what he can tell. He just right. starts shooting you at You said the nobody huts. very Canadian right there. I just want to say that. But, um,. <laughs> But yeah, but then he is swarmed by the Viet Cong and the Russians, and he is taken hostage. Yeah. And this is where we find out, like you said, there was a previous strike command who, was, mm-hmm. who, who has been tortured and held and been their mouth, their radio mouthpiece for a while now. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. And now they're going to make Ransom the new radio mouthpiece. They're going to torture him. Right. So we Cut to montage. Montage. Uh, of yep. torture. Torture. They tie him up yeah. to the, the, the wire bed frame, just like Rambo. Yeah. They turn <laughs> like, like, him, they make him You've pa- seen all these they scenes before, I guess shit. that's what I'm saying. Yeah. They yeah. make him hold heavy shit over spikes, although if you see it, there's two spikes that oh, separate, yeah, right? Yeah, where he's, his neck's yeah. right in the middle. It's it's like, a, just to make sure we don't it's kill like our a actor. It's nice yeah. little like, cushion for it really, him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you guys ever been electrocuted? 
Yes. Yeah. I have times. really. Yeah. I, mean, I was electrocuted really bad as a kid. Shit hurts. Yeah. It's scary. You, like, you don't you, know what just, happened. You like lose right, time and space for a minute. Yeah. <laughs> you, you really don't know until afterwards. Where you and you're to, like, like, shit. Did what? I, what? Oh, yeah. All right. Yeah. I got electrocuted. Yeah. 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 I used to stick shit in sockets. Like yeah. that was. What? <laughs> oh, see, I was not. I was yeah. not. Oh yeah, bobby pins and electric sockets. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay, well that's different. Once. I did not do Once. it on purpose to myself. Okay, I used mine was like, an accident. It was like your okay. favorite pastime. Yeah. I did. Yeah. All right. I did kind of say it like yeah. that. You're right. You're yeah. right. No, I did it once. Maybe I tried a penny. I tried a penny. It didn't work. No, but a bobby pin and a socket. Yeah. And I, I think I also used to uh, put like. Uh, you put it. This is weird. Uh, you put it. You know when you plug shit in, but if you pull it out a little bit, the yeah. electric current still runs yeah. through. Yeah. And I used to lay stuff on top of it and watch. Oh it my go, god! <laughs> <laughs> You're lucky you didn't burn your fucking house down. Very lucky. Holy that's ex- you know what? That's exactly what my dad said my to me. God, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, he didn't. He, said no, he yelled it a not, lot louder than you this did. This was not the n- n- normal <laughs> part of my childhood, Sean. It was not like a. Oh yeah, we fucked with shit. Yeah. Well, I fucked with shit too, but not like <laughs> life threatening shit. Oh like yeah, I was doing that. My brother was lighting matches in the bedroom like yeah we Jeez. had some there was some problems going up with the tyler boys oh, uh, did, uh, did you guys hit all three triangles on that was this what's that name of the serial killer? killer chart yeah where it's like it's bedwetting arson and, and animal if you hit, torture or if you hit your head i think yeah, yeah. no no animal torture that's yeah. you hear that story that karen kilgariff told about how when she was like five she just sat there like lighting matches on, yeah. her, on her bedspread yeah. it was like a 70s bedspread so it instantly caught fire right. yeah, yeah. Think, it was all polyester my brother probably. got in trouble for that yeah. a couple times yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> her mom's like on the phone and she's just like, uh, hey mom, and she's yeah. like, no, no, she's right, like, the bed's, the on, bed's fire. on fire. Yeah. yeah, I remember that. Yeah, and when I was a kid, I got, I got electrocuted really bad as a kid, and I got like thrown up by Ooh. it. The current was so strong, and I from what? Um, so I was a kid. I was swimming in my neighbor's pool, Ooh. and I got out. I was like seven or eight. I was little, and I got out, went in their garage to like get like a pool toy, and they had um an electric like table saw in because the, like they had like a whole wood workshop sure. in there, and it was still on. I didn't know it, and I <gasps> bumped into it when I was all wet, and I got thrown across the garage. Oh my oh. god! And like I had road rash like all over I my bet. body from Ugh. the concrete oh my God. but I didn't know what happened to me and so I just started crying <laughs> mom I feel <laughs> weird I I, and my sister came in she was my sister's younger than me so she must have been like five or six and she was like what happened and I was like I don't I don't know I, and then I, and she was like I, she was like did you touch something I was like I think I just touched that table and my sister touched it and then she got thrown <laughs> and then we both went inside to our mom and we're like something in the garage this is us. a comedy routine <laughs> this is not <laughs> real there was a team and in yeah, the yeah, they must have had no idea what the fuck we were talking about. But then we got mom. Them into the garage something touched the garage. Yeah, yeah. My, so. my neighbor, because you remember in the nineties they had like the like the dog fence. Yeah, it's yeah. like oh my God. exposed wire. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So my neighbor had one for his dogs, uh-huh. mm. and I don't know if it was my brother or my neighbor, mm-hmm. but one of them just like walked over and just grabbed it. Oh and God! Just, like, yeah. Mm-hmm. Like crazy electrocuted. Dear, that was so dangerous. They just allowed those yeah. people's yards. Uh, yeah. That's dear so readers, dear brailers, please send us your stories of <laughs> how you of how to, uh, you've yeah. electrocuted yourself or brothers, sisters, yeah. cousins. Tell but us uh, how you maybe this like what did you fuck up when you were young? Do you think young? like because it has to affect your brain a little bit, right? When That's why we're all here. Right? Is yeah. that why we're all here? Because like yeah. it activated some movie part of our brain where we're like, okay, well, yeah. this is what I'm going to do yeah. now. I'm going to watch movies like non exploitation movies. <laughs> this is why I love Mark getting electrocuted in Home Alone 2 so much. Because you relate. I relate. <laughs> this is what actually happens instead of like John Travolta and Phenomena. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. Right. yeah. Right. yeah we're not happens. lucky enough to be able to make sunglasses As dance. People that have all been electrocuted that movie's propaganda that does not happen it's not what happens I don't have any gifts no. I've, that's been on my list to bring the freak show I, for so oh, long yeah. phenomena I'm so down for that mm-hmm. What movie are we talking about? Yeah, I was yeah. Say, where'd we go? <laughs> sorry, electrocution Woo, tangent. Strike no, strike I can't man. even remember how he gets out of that. Well, jail. all right, so right. he's tortured. Right, okay, he's well, tortured for a while. This quote unquote this jail. jail. Let's talk it's about this jail. bamboo jail. It's a cave it's... with bamboo twigs yeah. that, like, when they grab onto it to be like, let us out, they can't like, really shake shaky. it because yeah. it'll fall right off. Like, like the construction is literally just like it's not even woven together. It's just no. sticks like well, resting on each other. Technology's not too advanced in this place. No, it's not. But I mean, they make those like nice huts with like decent roofs and stuff, but they can't make a fucking I'm sure if a anyway. storm came it'd be like Poosh, and maybe. all be gone but maybe you know so. well, maybe so the roofs are made of leaves his, his I don't trust uh, them right enough. so his his cellmate the, the other one that had already been kidnapped and been tortured for whatever <laughs> um he ends up dying. He does. And, and uh, he ends up smelling very badly, yeah, apparently, according to Red Brown. They leave, <laughs> yeah, they leave him in the cell. They leave him in the cell to, like, because they're trying to weaken Red Brown. And um, 
they they finally think that they've weakened him enough to have him be the new voice. Right. So they they have him on the radio reading the propaganda paper. But he's not changed, Colin. Nope. I'm gonna yeah. kill all you. Yeah. You guys he's gotta like, keep out. fighting, keep yeah. going. This is, yeah. And he busts out of there and just yeah. shoots them all. I mean, it's like yeah, effortless. Just he just all. shoots them all. No it's, like, no, it's like this man has not been tortured for. Well, I'm I'm gonna say a month, but according I, I don't know how long because this man cannot count. Oh yeah, according to his slash count. his slash marks on <laughs> the instead wall, of normal, and which is keeping track of instead time. Of normal tally is like five, like normal people do. Right. He's one, doing two, three, four, seven. slash he's for doing five, seven. Like is he counting weeks? He's doing weeks. Okay, yeah, he's uh, doing the seven. only okay, explanation well, I can that come makes up with. more sense. But the slash still, it, that, dude, we that's all know the slash works. to be five. The slash is five. We all know this. We all know what it is. It is an Italian movie, and Red Brown. That's she, true. Red Brown. The Italians are like, no, do seven, and Red Brown was the was just the golden retriever going, okay, okay. makes sense to me. Yep. Yeah. He's like, nobody's gonna see this anyway. <laughs> yeah. Um. So he brings the the Russian girl with him. Right. There's like a whole thing and kidnaps her. Has to lead her through the woods or Which- the jungle. As he's leaning her through the woods. <laughs> Jesus! The, so that, was, shit out of that was not scripted, I swear. <laughs> Best moment of the movie. <laughs> a Viet Cong pops up in front of him. It, <laughs> it, it literally seems like they. He literally says, scared. Jesus, you scared the shit out of me. <laughs> and he, he, he pushes him down. Like, yeah. uh, right. It's just like, oh, they left the mics on and they decided yeah. to use it in the movie. Cause, oh, it's brilliant. Oh, it was good. Oh, it's that so was good. good. And she's killed, I think, by oh, because this yeah, is when right. Raddick comes. At this point, the- Raddick's like, like, I'm, I'm gonna, gonna come pick and- his ass up myself. Yep. It's at this point, yeah. Raddick's like, I'm gonna go get him. And during their like escape, the Russian girl is the one that's like, don't you realize that um, that Colonel Raddick is part of it? Yeah, he's like, working he for us. He offered you up. Yeah, you are yeah. the sacrifice. You are Was the American sacrifice. Had he, had he fought the big Russian dude at this point? The big Russian dude's a big bodybuilder no, looking. I don't know. He okay. hadn't yet. No, because they're all pursuing him. This is where they blow up people in the cave, and there's a flamethrower, and there's a bunch of stuff mm-hmm. in this pursuit yeah. right. during this time. But no, he hadn't fought him yet. And then uh, Erratix Gunner kills uh, the Russian girl. Yes. Yep. Uh, which pisses uh, uh, Ransom off some more. <laughs> yes. And then he fights the Russian. Um, And then it. Then no, then he goes to the fucking boat. We take a detour so he can blow up another boat. Yeah. Where he's just laying grenades in oh, there yeah, 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 haphazardly. Yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, like six grenades. He just puts them in and he's this sneaking is- around and he puts them and you're like, how does he detonate these? But then I we think, see that I they have you- a little bit of smoke, so they're gonna go off at some point. How many grenades does it take to take down a boat this size? He Not this in- many. Mm-hmm. Like <laughs> at least fifteen grenades yeah. out of this boat. He's dropping those like a but they're, like, they're a bunch of bananas. Yeah. Yes. They, like, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Exactly. He really is. It's this not is just the like the grenade movie. Like, like don't get me wrong. I geez. love a grenade. Yeah. I do. If it worked within the confines of what we all consider, but like a war working. is an extreme situation where you need to conserve your resources, exactly. and this guy's just fucking throwing them everywhere. And, and in this particular moment, he has killed everyone on the boat already. Yeah, exactly. And he right. still blows need it up blow with up like bo- multiple yeah. bunches of grenades. Use one or two and, what, and see how what, it goes. And what does man. he say when he jumps off the boat? Uh, he's pr- he prays. He prays. What is it? Oh, what the fuck? Our is Father. Our, <laughs> yeah, he, he gives the Our Father as he jumps off. Weird. <laughs> Real weird. Real like weird. he had no reason to blow that boat up. What and a waste it, of grenades. And, it, and at one point before he killed him, didn't he like choo choo at him? Wasn't he like choo choo? I think he did. <laughs> I, I, like I he did. Okay, I don't remember the exact context, but he did something like he that. Did yes. something like that. Yeah, I am clearly not remembering the. Co- yeah. the, the I think the, you fell asleep the, at some point. Yeah, I think it did actually. Because um, Colin's like, is he still? Is he still going? He's like, he's still going. He, but, well, I remember he fought yeah. the Russian at some point. Yeah. There was like, okay, so this he, is where we fight. So the, then yeah. he fights the Russian. Okay. Yeah, yeah. and it's yeah. underwhelming. And it's, it's it's very sexual, homoerotic, very <laughs> shot, very up close. Because well, they were shirtless. The yeah. underneath shots, there's but like, just the, it's like in their uh, armpit. I remember yeah, that. Yeah. I remember a very shot weird. in their armpit. I was like, what in the fuck am I looking at? Yeah. Oh, they get yeah. a running start. Oh, that this was great, was amazing. Oh, run at each other, and instead of colliding, they just like stop and hit their foreheads together. Yeah, there's and like not a, like a headbutt. Two coconuts. Plunk. Yeah. 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 And, and then they're then, covered with blood. Right, I like and, right, that. No, they were fine before, and then they both <laughs> pop back up, like covered bruised and blood. bloody, and everything. Yeah. It is. It is the yeah. most ridiculous hilarious. scene it's that you've so ever seen. It is hilarious. And, and then, then yeah. eventually, Red Brown just kicks him off a waterfall. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, I'm just like, oh, is he yeah. is he dead? He comes He's back later. Dead. Yeah, he comes back yep. later. But he does. Because he just kicks him off a waterfall. Red Brown. Because now we go to Saigon. Yeah. And <laughs> yeah all of a sudden, cut to Saigon. The fall of Saigon, the last day of the war. It's it's like. 
Red Brown went to Saigon and won the war. I did which not. Is basically yeah, because he's walking through there with the, the gun. Cut. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And everybody's running it. around him. I was like, what yeah. happened here? Where are we? What's happening? Yeah. Um, probably uh, because I fell asleep. And yeah. No, no, no. You didn't miss anything. We were all that confused. Yeah, yeah the, just the cuts up. were... Uh, true, true. The editing, I mean, is not good at all throughout this movie, no. but the last, like, 15 minutes, it gets real messy. It is almost like the messy. Italian movies, like, film stuff in order, and as they run out of movie... Uh, yes. Uh, yes. Money, it's at, at Now the we have to movie. cut, and I was like, yeah. we can't film that. We can't film that. We can't film that. that. Yeah, no. we can't do that. Mm-hmm. Yes, um, exactly what it is. He's going looking for Radic, and so he goes back to the, uh, the, the headquarters, and as we know that he does... He says hello the way that he does. And Radic! Unloads. He just jumps in and, uh, like, there could be fellow yeah. soldiers here. Yeah. Right. And there is, because his, his nonchalantly, his commanding officer just sidesteps out of room like, mm, mm. he's here. He's like, hey, no, he's, he's, shooting at, he's shooting at a bunch no, of no. stuff over there. He's there. No, no, no. The Troutman character. Trout, the Troutman character his- is, like, ransom. We've we have no idea where he is. He well, left already. Gone. Like he pops Ra- out of a room. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That guy's there. Yeah, yeah, that guy's there. And he's like, we lost yeah. Erratic. We have no idea where he is. Yeah. yeah. The end. I mean, cut and- to ten years <laughs> later. <laughs> and we're like, what is happening? Cut to, no, cut to what is uh, Milan Manila now Manila or Manila in now present day. And then we uh, go to a. And cop we're all fight. like, what day is it? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so it's like, okay, it's 1987. Yeah. Uh, Cockfighting and. and- uh, Cockfight in Milan. Well, no, Manila. 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 Sorry. Yeah. Fuck. And Cockfight in Manila. We're uh, sitting there going like, why is why, copyright why are they here? Is what? Why are they there? Um, to talk and to because that's have a, and a, it's, have, it's to have an excuse to show actual footage of a cockfight. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. That's, that, that, that is the only reason. The movie would say maybe that was the closest place they could meet together, that is considering the, where they were. Only they met at the airport. You true. They, de- <laughs> right, right. they met at the airport. They decided to go to a cockfight. Yeah, that you're was right. Their choice. I think you're right. There's some dialogue that says that Radic is basically his organization has been running the cockfights or something sure. like that. But yeah, from war to cockfights. I mean, it is an Italian movie, and they're the kings of the cannibal movie where they kill real thing, or, you know, real true. animals yeah, on yeah. screen. So this is what we're gonna do. I'm just glad it cut before it got to. Yeah, yeah. yeah we didn't yeah. want to kill. A cock I did not want to see that. Mm-hmm. And um, so now we know where Raddick is. Mm-hmm. Uh, so Reb Brown tracks him down. Mm-hmm. And Terminator like goes oh, through it's very Terminator yeah. like this hotel. Yeah, and like the re- like the receptionist is like a commander that he fought earlier. Yeah, right. and she's the one the one long haired woman who'd been running yeah. around in the jungle the whole time is now the receptionist. Yeah, what a demotion. Yeah, and he's just like, "Hi, I'm uh, I'm here to see uh, Colonel Reddick." And as he's talking, he just like pulls out a grenade and just sets <laughs> it on her desk yeah. right. and like, tells her she has two to three minutes. Yeah. Okay, no, I need to know if it's two minutes or three minutes. No, two to three minutes with the grenade. We cannot. He's, he's like, depending on how, the, how hard you uh, how the vibrations yeah, you make, yeah. which is like, don't uh, don't what, hit the desk. What yeah. is? I need to know what is. What, what, uh, 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 all right, I need to do more history on grenades, more research on yes. grenades. Apparently, because I know nothing about apparently them, according we, to this uh, movie. Apparently, we all do. I don't think you have that that long. It, it's seconds. I, I, I think would, from yeah. the yeah, time you pop the pin. That's like, <laughs> right, which is kind of the whole point of them. Yeah. I thought. Right. Yeah. Don't pull it unless you're absolutely certain you're ready to yeah. blow something up. Yeah. Yeah, because I'm like, going to quote you on that and take it out of context, <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to read that back all to you right, later right. and see how you feel about it. Sounds good. <laughs> don't um, pull it unless you're ready to blow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I believe that the editing in this was kind of screwy because we hear the explosion Raddick and all the guys yeah. who have been on his crew before are still with him in this private sector business. Mm-hmm. He's like, you go check it out. And yep. you, and you, and you, all and so of the, you, all of they you. All Henchmen, yes. And then the woman receptionist calls from another room and she's like, it's ransom. He's back, you know, blah, 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 mm-hmm. blah, blah. He's coming to get you. Yep. And yeah. then there's this then he, scene. They proceed to shoot from every angle of one hallway. <laughs> yeah, every angle of one. It is one hallway. It is. It, it, it does is. feel like it was inspired by the Terminator or something because yeah. they're unloading. Oh, very much so. And he just walks through it and kills everybody, you know, and uh, finally has his showdown with his arch enemy through a door. Right. We don't even see eye to eye. <laughs> Radics just, just like, you know, I know you're in there. Mm-hmm. Come and get me, Ransom. Right. Son with a gun bitch. pointed at the door. How is, uh, you know, Ransom going to get through there? Because, I mean, uh, he's got him dead to rights. He's, he's got, got the gun a, at the door. He's he opened the door. He's, he's got shoot. a grenade launcher on that gun. He doesn't gun. need to open the door, Colin. That's right. He does. More grenades. This one, from rocket a launcher. launcher. 
Yeah. Rocket launcher. Blows that fucker up. Hell yeah. Chuck Norris style. Hell yeah. Didn't he blow up two people? Yes. As he's, uh, so he blows him up as he's leaving. The Russian reappears. In the most (laughs) anticlimactic reappearance of a major bad guy, he, he comes... Out of a bush. Out of a bush. Mm -hmm. And he's like in in jeans and a wife beater. He's like, I'm going to fight you again. Also, I have metal teeth now. He has metal teeth now. Because why not rip off something from James Bond? I mean, he's on a roll. You know, you just got to go with it. He's like, you did this to me. I'm going to get to the revenge. And uh, but we're not done with the grenades. No, we're <laughs> no, not. No, we got one more. No, we're not. We got one more. My favorite explosion, I think. This yeah. should have been like. Yeah. There should have been a little storyline where it's just like I only have one grenade left. I'm gonna save it. <laughs> this is the grenade he carried for ten years for the Russian, <laughs> and then he finally got to use it. And he put the little symbol on it, so right, it was like yeah, marked yeah. for like him. The, the patch yeah, he got yeah, earlier, yeah, he like painted on it. it. Like yeah. this would not. This would take. This would have taken a minute to do within this movie. That's what I'm saying. Like they Ugh. put the put in five percent more effort, and you have a, a little 10% bit more percent better. Right movie. for yeah. storyline. Yeah, yeah. For yeah. something connectivity, something with an emotional punch. No, we just get grenades. But my favorite explosion because we actually see like a. Man, a, a mannequin. We, we see, see pants. Some, right. And well, he shoves it, he shoves it yeah. in the guy's mouth. Yes. In his mouth. Is, okay, is the idea here that the metal teeth get stuck in the grenade, the grenade and that's yes. why he can't pull it out? The grenade's so big where he can't go on his yeah. jaw to pull yeah. it stuck out. Yeah, stuck in the metal teeth. Yeah, he just, yeah. yeah. Yeah, blows yeah. up. We see the the jeans go flying. <laughs> yeah, his legs go flying in yeah. one Red direction. Brown is hiding behind a tree, and something comes flying through the air. Mm-hmm. He catches it. This man, the Russian, yells. After, after he's yells, been blown after, up. After, after yeah. he's been blown up. His ghost is yelling into the abyss. Yeah. Yes. But then, like you said, Red, Red Brown, Brown catches his dentures, his metal dentures. I'm assuming that his dentures are doing the yelling. That's why oh. they were. <laughs> okay. That's why. Because it was his mouth. He caught his mouth. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> you, hear this, you bastard. Oh my God. Right, right. It's like the teeth from Beetlejuice. Was like, Beetlejuice. <laughs> yeah. With that, it fell on the ground. That's exactly what it is. You're right. Same the- thing. Same, same teeth, actually. The, 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 yeah. This is their second credit. <laughs> Look at IMDb. <laughs> Yeah. Well, he's what do he say? Like he's like, well, you know what about those Russian dentures? Or dentists? The, what they in make the fuck is this ending? And you're like, what? And then it gets but even it's like weirder. he's having a conversation with somebody because he goes like, there's a pause. He's like, and yeah, and then and, and like, then he like, reads the no. Uh, uh, any yeah. relation to anyone living or dead is yeah. purely coincidence that you see it at the and fucking end of every movie. He just reads it for the end of the movie, and especially dead. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fucking hell. Italians! <laughs> uh, Bruno Mattei is a madman. <laughs> He's a psycho. Yes. <laughs> he is unstoppable <laughs> in his insanity. Uh, wow. It was. Uh, yeah. Okay. And I'm still not going to recommend this movie. <laughs> 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 All right. Uh, well, I guess the rest of us should tell you whether we Oof. would recommend that you watch it. So we're going to stick with us. But first of all, we're going to take a brief pause. We're going to summon our mailman. We're going to read some of your mail. So Igor, bring us the mail. Masters, masters, the mail. I've got the mail. So many letters. Our followers are rising, rising. All right. Thank you, Igor. Thank you, sir. He has a grenade collection. Yep. I like the bandolier. I mean, you got to, yeah. you know, if you're going to watch it's one a of good these look. Movies, Yeah, but it's just got mail in it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Which he, sh- he throws at us. Mm-hmm. I like the way that whatever Red Brown is Freak getting the reaction, he always puts on the headband, you know, before yeah. he mm-hmm. goes into, that's how you know he means business. Mm-hmm. True. Um, well, first of all, we should let the good folks at home know how they can participate on this interactive portion of our show by following along on Facebook. Facebook.com slash Night Free Show. Or X Twitter. At Set Freak Show. X Twitter. Like X Twitter. It used okay. to be Twitter. Ah. I, I, just, I just have to get yeah. used to you saying it because you said Twitter for uh, yeah. 10 yeah. years. Yeah, 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 yeah. And so the yeah. trigger needs yeah. to be rewired in my head. Yeah. Yeah. X Twitter, yeah. X Twitter, X. X Twitter. X yeah. Um, they can also. Because it is X Twitter. Mm-hmm. It's X Twitter. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Two very things. Um, very good. Two you, can, uh, you can email us. Saturday Night Freak Show at Yahoo.com. And you can also follow along on uh, Threads Instagram at Saturday Night Freak Show. That doesn't work as well. Threads Instagram? 
Threadstagram about tonight's movie Strike Commando. Michael Whitaker writes in and says, before Chuck Norris facts, there was <laughs> Reb Brown space mut- mutiny nicknames, which by nerd law must be said every time he's mentioned on screen, such as slab bulkhead, punt speed chunk, blast hard cheese, fist rock bone, stump beef knob, and smash lamp jaw. And I think if you induct him into the wall of fame, it should be under one of these names. <laughs> Yeah, you know it. what that's I love, from. I love a good made up name, so thank you for those. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna reread those later mm-hmm. and use them somehow. There's like I'm 30, check into hotels there's under those 30 more of them. They are from the time that Mystery Science Theater did uh, Space Mutiny, and so every time uh, he was on oh, screen, nice. they referred to him as a different. I love that. Love that. Fan, those good, are I love bit. those. Yeah. Those <laughs> are great. great I love a good mm-hmm. weird random name. <laughs> Uh, last week we watched a movie called My Bloody Valentine 3D and oh, yeah. the boy with the Jason tattoo wrote in and said My Bloody Valentine is a great remake. Yeah, I it saw it in theaters but not in 3D sadly and I love me some Batman voiced Jensen Ackles. Yeah, sure. Jensen Ackles is great. Yeah. Jacob Laws says Tom Atkins alone makes this is this an enjoyable movie. There's some great kills like the little person motel manager and of course Tom oh, Atkins yeah. getting his jaw ripped off. I forgot yeah, about we her. didn't I don't think we touched on the the motel manager very much, but that that was a good scene and it, I like I appreciate characters that just exist to be a, like a body count. Yeah. yeah. Boost, you know, like yeah. that. Her it dog did, made it. I was just yeah. saying, didn't she have like a French bulldog? Yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, Travis Legler says, hearing you guys talk about how the townspeople reacted to the mine being sold and got mad at Ackles uh, sounded almost like they were reflecting General Zod telling Jor- Jor-El, you alone will condemn us if you wish, and you alone will be held responsible by me. But given nope. in a town like this, most of the steady jobs are from the mine, I can see the concern they would have. I see it too. I just wouldn't give a shit. They were just assholes about how they went about it, though. Like accosting the guy and being like, "Don't sell the mine, you bastard!" Isn't gonna get your point across, mm-hmm. you know? Like, I don't know. that old I don't, don't want to talk jaw. about. That. I don't want to talk about the. Right, I was anymore. gonna say, remember that old man breaking his hand in <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Jensen Eccles' face? Yeah. Asobi Detura says, I remember seeing this on a lark in theaters and I really enjoyed it. The sort of campy 3D horror film you want to see with those silly glasses. It holds no candle to the original, but it's a solid enough and fun slasher. Your mileage may vary on the handling of the twist reveal. Mm -hmm. There you go. Only see it in 3D. Uh, I'll stick with that. I, I saw it in 2D first and I still really love that yeah, movie. I'm, so. I can do without 3D. I like yeah. it. Mm-hmm. Adam like Kaler it. says, I think the movie was okay, but it made me reflect. The horror oh. movies of this era felt very similar. I'm not saying they were all bad, but do you think the perspective of studios were strictly to hire WB actors and actresses to bring in that audience to capitalize only on the brand name of the originals? Or do you think that in, in some cases the executives felt like a movie like the Prom Night remake was going to be a bonafide horror classic? I agree. I think with, they're capitalizing. Yeah, they're definitely capitalizing. I mean, but that has been the, uh, the from day one. That's mm-hmm. been the thing: bringing the yeah. young hot star, have him be in this horror movie. Mm-hmm. It's it's a rite of passage at this point. Mm-hmm. Like, He's a beautiful kid. You, He's gonna make a great picture. Right? right yeah. <laughs> You see that face? Look at that, look at that I, face. I think bringing up prom night is interesting because that is kind of is the out, the out. Movie? Yeah, that's yeah. what makes it kind of like the outlier. Is it's not like a bunch of WB people I've in that movie. That. Yeah, it's not. Yeah, I think it's mostly nobodies. I think so. I think you're right. There was know, also an, uh, there's a horrible April Fool's Day remake. What really? Oh yeah. Like how recent is this? Oh no! It, I think it's within the era of okay. the two, early two thousand. Terror Train it's remake, I think. Horrible. Oh, Jesus. Now that was like, recent. Oh. Yeah, and they're doing like I mean, like there's a sisters was probably remake. Brittany Snow. Yes. Yeah. But she's yeah. like the only notable. She's like the only one. Yeah. yeah. And she wasn't a WB star. No, but she was. Yeah, an NBC, she was an yeah, NBC like the '60s star. Like, mm-hmm. you yeah. remember that show? The '60s. I do remember uh, that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They're remaking everything. It was when movies ended. And they had nothing left to do. <laughs> uh, the week before that, we watch a movie called The City of the Dead. The Scream Queen podcast says this was my fav- a family favorite growing up. We never missed it anytime it popped up on the late night creature features. Nice. That's awesome. Yeah. What a cute I like a family, family event. Yeah. Movie. I love cute. that. I love that. Uh, Michael Whitaker says uh, Venetia Stevenson, that was Nan mm-hmm. Barlow, mm-hmm. Uh, was apparently <laughs> Marlo, used Nan on Marlo. Tenant's Sweetheart Stout for decades. And uh, that's cool. That one, she died in uh, not too long ago, twenty twenty two or something. She was eighty four years old. Met her at a convention. Uh, But he says that that one scene in the corset is proof that women hang around in sexy lingerie all day, as per most men's (laughs) fans. Proof. Proof. Uh, Proof. 
<laughs> That's right. We saw it. Okay. Uh, Steve <laughs> Kearney. Steve Kearney says, I don't think I've ever seen a film with as much fog as this one. Maybe The Fog, fog. 1980. Yeah. The only one. And even then, I don't know if it had this much. Yeah. Yeah, and it's a lot of fun. He says, but here it ramps up the spooky tension or atmosphere tenfold, and mm-hmm. I wouldn't, yes. I wouldn't spend the night in white wood. Yeah. No. Yeah. And Tommy Forster says, I really enjoyed this one. Great pick. We need more seventy-minute movies. I Which, agree. Uh, I oh agree. yeah, we all agree. Counts. Death to the two-hour movie. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. The two hour plus. The, yeah. The two yeah. hour plus. That, two was, plus. that was another perk of picking tonight's movie. Yeah, it's also relatively short, yeah. I think. It's like 102 minutes or something. That's, mm-hmm. that's, no. I yeah, felt it's like it's yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 longer yeah. than yeah. we thought it was. Yeah. <laughs> um, well, we should. Well, thank you, first of all, for writing in. We really appreciate it. Now we're going to go around the table and tell you what we really thought. Well, we really, really thought of tonight's movie, starting with Colin. Oh boy, Colin goes first tonight uh, on the hot seat. Well, yeah. What did I, you think? I fell uh, asleep. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. Uh, That's all you need to say. It was really warm in the basement, and I didn't get a whole lot of sleep hey, oh, last night. And so, and it, it was basically Rambo. Okay, so I I saw enough of it. You're like, I've seen this movie before. I, I know saw, I can yeah. nod off a little bit. <laughs> right, right. Yeah, we'll fine. fill in the gap. I was struggling, so I apologize, <laughs> Holly. For yeah, um, apology necessary. It was. Um, and maybe because of the state that I was in, it was like, it was just excruciatingly boring. Um, I mean, it was just Red Brown running around in the jungle, shooting a bunch of stuff, mm-hmm. montages, which were missing, like they should have had, uh, you know. Not um, one person offered their wife to Red Brown in this movie. Yeah. No, but they there, had. There were two semi, like, uh, romantic interests. There was the God, the, 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 the Vietnamese commit, woman maybe? and the Russian. It was, he got very teary about it. Like he was crying puppy dog tears. He, I think it was that's more just for the his boy. humanity. I think it's just yeah, like the loss go. of human exactly. life is what he's upset. Yeah. About. That's what yeah. he was upset about. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. No that. romance. He like, just he like the fact that, that someone I died. I think he's just like I failed them. Yes, you know, that's, yeah. that's it. Mm-hmm. No romance. She represented it. She was the only one who talked to him. It's like you can't give that kid false hope about going to you know. She the, wasn't yeah, just wrong. Right, and just because the only one who talked to him doesn't mean there's romance in there. Yeah. Um. The uh, set pieces are not well shot. Uh, everything is a copy of something that you've seen before. Uh, I don't. I, there's nothing here really to recommend it aside from right. There are some moments of like uh, wild hilarity, but I just kind of felt like they, you know, like I think of the two guys button heads mm-hmm. was you know, and some of the 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 ways that Reb Brown. Uh, responds or reacts to like mm-hmm. people coming out. He just like you know, it's point blank. Uh, his delivery is funny, um, but I don't think there's. I mean, I'm assuming that you've seen Rambo. Yes, I and, have. Yeah, <laughs> then you know, if you're a viewer who's seen those movies and missing in action or mm-hmm. whatever, it's like there's really nothing here that you're gonna get. Um, and I didn't think it was funny enough. Mm-hmm. I guess in mm-hmm. order to keep you going, so. I would pass on Strike Commando. Michaela, what'd you think? Uh, yeah, I agree with a lot of what you said, Colin. Unfortunately, it is not crazy enough to be entertaining. It is unfortunately very dull. Um, and n- I mean, non exploitation, that's not a subgenre that I would. I'd rather watch non exploitation. Uh, yes, exactly. Like, <laughs> this is not a subgenre for me. And I feel like maybe it shouldn't even be a subgenre. It feels like we should have Rambo and maybe that should be it. You I know, agree. like maybe we don't need more of these movies. Um, <laughs> And did we do Missing in Action on no. this? No. Okay. I was thinking, like, that's okay. the obvious yeah. next one. Yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, don't Get have it out of your brain in, right yeah, now. I was like, don't really want to see that. It's not, um, I can't, what, they're, because they, they're, they, it's the they same all, movie. Yeah, they're yeah. all the same movie. Yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. You gotta go the get problem. the prisoners of war who are still the, there. Yeah. And, exactly. Yeah, get them out. And I mean, man, I was, boy, boy, the first hour we were watching this, I'm like, I don't know what we're gonna talk about, guys. He's literally just right, running around the, the jungle. Same. I don't know what we're gonna talk about. And, like, there was a few moments, yeah, like Colin, you said that was really funny, but there was also moments where we felt like they were setting up for something better, like the Cobra, yeah. and it just, just t- takes the wind out of it, and it's just deflates the whole movie and we love red brown around here it's not his fault i don't blame him he is what he is but uh and i don't blame him for collecting the checks either but like nope. I, he's just a puppy no yeah. we, br- we yeah. blame bruno mate yeah but and i like for a bruno mate movie i expected crazier you know um yeah yeah it's yeah. an italian movie yeah. that wasn't yeah. violent right it's, it's like gory violent i don't yeah. understand the choices made in this movie at all no so no. no don't recommend pass it was boring even if it sounded like 
I feel like we've made this movie sound better than it was in our episode because no, we highlighted McHale, McHale, the crazy We're points. entertaining. Yeah. This movie is not. <laughs> yes, yeah. Yes. Uh, pass. Pass. <laughs> right. Sean. Even we can make a, a yeah. bad movie sound entertaining. Yeah. Um, so, do, But don't let that fool you, folks, yeah. because I am also not going to recommend this movie. <laughs> um, we, I think we were shocked into laughing at certain moments of this mm-hmm. just because very unexpected certain parts mm-hmm. and very on a left field other parts like mm-hmm. that ending monologue. Just weird shit. But other than that, it's like, it is the war movie, and it's not anything you haven't seen before probably a million times at this point. In the year 2024, you've seen it, and they're not doing... You can do something you've seen well and, you know, mm-hmm. get something out of it. They don't do it well. They, mm-hmm. It's pretty boilerplate as far as that goes. Um, yeah, nope. Mm-mm. I, I can't recommend this movie. Uh, mm-hmm. There again, uh, we, we we've highlighted the the moments that will make you laugh and entertain you. They're very few and far between, and we're making them sound better than they actually are. I I feel mm-hmm. so. I, I can't uh, I can't recommend this to you. I would not tell you to go into this jungle. You will not make it out alive <laughs> <laughs> unless you have an abundance of grenades going with you, which I doubt you will. Like Red Brown, yeah, um, Red so Brown no. used them all. He oh. used them all. They are gone. <laughs> gone. Uh, so there is no saving you from this one. Uh, pass on mm-hmm. Strike Commando. Mm-hmm. Holly, mm. take us home. Yeah, um, I agree with you. This we've seen this movie multiple times, and we've seen it when it's actually done well. Uh, this is not done well. No. This is take every element that you like. In a Vietnam movie and like water it down a yeah, lot. Make it boring. <laughs> make it boring. Like that's what this movie did. Um, there are some hilarious moments. There are some, there's a lot of explosions, but I will say all of those moments are in the trailer. You only <laughs> need to watch the trailer. <laughs> Is, was that a recut, uh, Severin? Yeah, probably. Okay, they, probably they, they has, up to, the, has to the be. hilarity. Nothing yes. would have been that yeah. good <laughs> in 1987. The original trailer, no. The Severin trailer. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Watch that. That's all you need to see. It is the highlight reel of this movie, and yeah, it, you don't need to watch the whole thing. Um, you get it all from that trailer, and it's it's great. Don't bother with the rest. No, the only good thing about this movie is we got Red Brown on the wall. That's mm-hmm. it. Yeah. And so he and, shall and forever Bruno be Mate, remembered. Uh, and, yeah, and Mate, so they shall <laughs> forever be remembered. Yeah. I think he belongs on the wall, so it works. I, I do too. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, to me, this this was a success. <laughs> <laughs> I look at this as an absolute win. I, I feel the like it is a win. There you go. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Right. Do not recommend total win. So you're not gonna you're not gonna go ahead and watch Strike Commando two. You do not need to watch Strike Commando. It took out Did the you one. watch Strike Commando two? I saw parts of it. You don't need to watch it. Okay. Oh, wow. I think this yeah. means we have to shoot this movie up at, like into the sky and then shoot it down. We have like to a blow Viking up. With, a, with, a, yeah. with a rocket launch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We have to blow I like it. Up. it. Yeah. yeah, we have to kick it off a waterfall. And yeah, be like, yeah. Goodbye. Mm-hmm. You know what I was thinking of while we were watching this movie? What were you thinking while we were watching this movie, Colin? It been like if Andy Sidaris had made this movie. Oh, my God. Boobs everywhere. (laughs) Well, yeah. So, like, oh, yeah. The the quote-unquote natives would have been just topless. Oh, yeah. Yeah. This would have been crazy. Well, thank But, I mean, like, even the action scene. (laughs) Like, he did, you know, remote control helicopter. He (laughs) would have made it. Okay, that scene where the helicopter (laughs) or the plane flies over the Jeep in my... um, Yeah, the coordination. uh, Our ticket to Hawaii. Yeah. Yeah, the the way they staged that scene. Yeah, there'd be shit like that all over. Oh yeah, there vision. would have been yeah, yeah, there would have been some vision, it some been higher a song. Just like, just like <laughs> the theme, there were two in that movie. Yeah. There were none in this one. Yeah, yeah. Bruno Mattei. There's certain, there's more elements to doing this stuff than just ripping shit off. You gotta mm-hmm. add something of your. Yeah, you I gotta you, make it because there's own. nothing in it that makes it a Bruno right. Mattei movie. Right. At all, whatever. Like I could be, like if I watched it, be like, I I, I, I could watch an Andy Sidaris movie. Without knowing it was him and be like, probably. Did Andy Sidaris make this movie? <laughs> yeah. And you can't do that with Bruno yeah. Mate. Mm-hmm. Well, no, I, well, you can, but it's just because if you watch a movie and you're like, this seems a lot like I've seen this Right, before. this seems ripped off from four other movies <laughs> yeah. I know way better. It's like, oh, this is probably a Bruno Mate yeah. movie. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, well, thank you for listening this week. Yes, far. thank you. Mm-hmm. We appreciate it. Um, next week, we're going to watch a movie that's chosen by... Kayla. What are we watching next week? I think I'm kind of a Dark Castle fan girl. Ooh. So we're going to watch Splice from 2009. Oh, is this a Dark Castle movie? It is a Dark this Castle movie. All right. Memphis. I have not seen this movie. Don't look All right. up anything yeah. about it, please. Is this, Keep your is, eyes pure. Who, is Adrian Brody in this yes, movie? Yes, and Sarah okay. yeah. Polly. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, okay. Mm-hmm. This has been on my list. Okay. Yeah, good stuff. Who mm-hmm. plays the monster? Isn't it somebody we'll famous see. as well? Yeah, okay, we'll okay, see. okay. <laughs> next week. <laughs> All right, that's next week on the Saturday Night Freak Show. We hope you'll join us. And until then, ladies and germs, the basement is 
going dark.